Okay, so I've got a tray here. This, I do lots and lots of fall crops, right? And uh, I can't always get everything into the garden when it needs to go, like ideally. So I've had these in here uh, for a few weeks. These are snow crown cauliflowers and actually right there, shame on me. Um, those were doubles that I didn't catch. I don't usually let them get this big, but you wanna cut them off because you, you have to be brutal about thinning. Like you cannot leave more than one in a cell. I think I got them now. Um, so one of the things, I'm not gonna have time this week uh, to transplant all these. So I'm gonna use our, our liquid kelp and it's, it's just like, uh, think of it like a vitamin for your plants. And so these guys, they're still happy, they're nice and green, but um, remember that plants are using all those micronutrients and minerals in very small quantities. And of course, these are really small cells. So you wanna make sure that they don't lose any one of those items. So that's what the kelp is for. This also helps reduce transplant shock. So it's kind of like a cushion. Um, so I've already diluted it. That's one ounce per gallon. Um, and I'm literally, I have solid bottom trays on purpose and I just want the roots to touch. And so, of course, this table's not particularly flat, but ideally I'd set that on a flat spot and then each one of these cells, there's maybe like a quarter inch in there. Uh, I don't want to overfeed them because these are still really healthy. Uh, I'm just gonna little, give them a little, uh, little vitamin for the morning. So that's, that's how to feed with liquid kelp, real easy. Uh, one of my favorite liquid products, uh, just give them my, uh, my snow crown cauliflower for the fall, uh, a happy little cushion before we go transplant next week.